because obviously data science is the future. Hi everyone, today I am talking about the Uber data science interview, basically the whole interview process, different interview questions, how you should approach it. Uh, stay tuned for that next. Also, everyone, please check out Interview Query. It's a website that I made specifically to prepare data scientists for their interviews. Uh, you can filter a bunch of data science interview questions by company, uh, run SQL queries, discuss solutions, and learn data science with our in-depth solution guides that we provide. Uh, you can sign up at interviewquery.com uh, and get a free weekly interview question in your inbox. Uber is a multinational, huge conglomerate company now. Started back in 2008. They basically came through Y Combinator, have risen through the ranks to now becoming a household name, and have basically branched out into everything from mobility to logistics to freight to Uber Eats, you name it. Uber is huge. Obviously, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people were laid off, but Uber is now kind of recovering and needs more people on the data science team because obviously data science is the future. So the role of data scientists at Uber really depends on which team you're interviewing for. The whole interview process is not completely structured kind of like it's at Google or Facebook where you just interview for a general role and then you get matched to a specific team afterwards. At Uber, it's really heavily determined by the team you're applying for. And so data science role there generally covers across machine learning, to analytics, to deep learning implementation, and across different kinds of teams within Uber itself, including safety, marketing, science, policy, Uber Eats, and Uber Freight. And so those are all examples of the different kinds of segments and teams that you can actually join. And so ultimately, you'll really wanna read the description of the job that you're interviewing for to really understand exactly how to prepare for the interview itself. There are two main divisions of data science at Uber, and they fall under two teams. One is data science, and then one is data science and analytics. So I'll go over a couple of the teams. For example, there's safety and insurance, which implements machine learning algorithms to optimize safety policies. There's core client, which focuses on forecasting and automating every aspect of Uber's core ride sharing products. Then there's risk, right? Developing machine learning models to combat fraud and also driver fraud and rider fraud. Then there's research, and this includes in-house research to understand how to shape policy at a macroeconomic level, as well as just general mobility across the United States to then influence different policymakers on why Uber is good for that city. And then lastly, another example is marketing science. Uber is pretty big on their marketing effort on being very particular with making sure that every amount of budget is used accordingly. And so being on the marketing science team, you'd be the data scientist trying to influence the marketers in terms of actually doing a lot of attribution and distributing money across different channels. So the interview process, while it does vary from team to team, generally follows a process of a initial recruiter screen followed by an Uber take home challenge and then a actual technical screen and then an on-site interview. The take home challenge hasn't changed probably in like four years and is essentially just SQL questions, A-B testing questions, and then a business case or product analytics question. And so you can get a preview of the Uber take home challenge if you want on interview query and talk with other members about it. But generally it's just a kind of filtering bar to see how well you do and if you can actually emulate the work that is done on Uber. The next step is the technical screen after the take home challenge. Most of the time, the interview questions asked here are Uber related case studies that are looking for like more of an open ended response. So they're really testing your critical thinking and problem solving abilities here. Expect to receive like machine learning problems like feature selection and model building with a focus on Uber real life problems. So for example, what are performance metrics that you'd want to track if you're evaluating various Uber services? How do you investigate that a certain trend in the distribution is an anomaly or a part of seasonality? What problems have you faced with supervised machine learning and how do you overcome them? So these are all kind of example, open-ended general questions that are asked in the screening to really understand if you're a data scientist that can communicate well with the Uber team. The last step is the on-site interview, of course, or the virtual interview due to COVID. It consists of about five or six rounds each 45 minutes and they involve a little bit of coding, project discussion with team members, other data scientists, and a hiring manager overview interview. 
So ultimately, it's pretty standard across the board. Expect more of the same interview questions from before on machine learning, A-B testing, product, all the usual stuff that you can find on interview query, of course. A couple of tips would be to assess how you can apply data science concepts to Uber-specific goals, right? So if you think about how Uber is a ride matching service primarily, and then also then on logistics, think about the kind of problems that they have to solve. Think about the kind of tests that they have to implement. For example, what would actually improve Uber's service dramatically? Would it be better ETAs? Would it be A-B testing different home screens in terms of getting people to actually commit to more ride requests? All these different kinds of problems around ride matching and ride servicing are some of the crucial problems that Uber faces every single day. So if you think about them a little bit more in the weeks leading up to your interview, you'll really have a better understanding of exactly what Uber's problems are. Lastly, I wanted to go over a few interview questions from Uber, specifically for data scientists. Let's say we launch a new Uber Eats feature. What would you choose as a primary metric? How would you design an incentive scheme for drivers such that they would more likely to go into the city areas where demand is high? What metrics would you use to track Uber's strategy of using paid advertising to acquire customers? How would you figure out an acceptable cost of acquisition? What are the costs of having a fleet of vehicles take Google photo style photos across the entire United States? Write production code to find all the numbers that sum up to eight in a list. What are the assumptions of linear regression? What algorithm would you use to predict if a driver will accept a ride request or not? Lastly, if you want to see some more mock interviews of Uber related questions, I've done one on the YouTube channel that you can check out here. And then ultimately, if you want to see more videos and more problems, get more practice, sign up for interview query on our free plan and check out all the interview questions we have and talk to other data scientists on our website. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.